Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. We're for a head and face shave today and I'm going to be using a soap which I've been excited to use. I've been really looking forward to trying the base and I was very, very lucky to have it sent to me from Jack over at the virtual groom room. Now, it is Declaration Grooming and the scent on this one is After the Rain. The labelling is beautiful. The labelling around the sides is very, very nice. The scent is absolutely amazing. I don't know, really know. I was expecting After the Rain to be a sort of damp, wet, woodsy, earthy sort. Of, I don't know why. I was expecting it to smell like After the Rain. But to me it smells quite sweet. It's almost got a sort of a Venice thing happening through it. It's quite citrusy. I don't really get anything else from it. That's it, just that sort of citrusy cologne type that I get from it, which is very, very nice. I do like it. Now, as you can see, around the outside there are scoops on it because it's, it's not really a silk, it's more of a croak. In fact, it's borderline cream. It's very, very soft. And from what I've seen from YouTube, from what I've read on forums and things like that, and on Facebook, it's a very, very, very good quality cream or soap. I'm sure there's a reason why it is a silk and not a cream. It must be something to do with it. the ingredients in there, but it's very soft. I don't know why I'm wetting my head like that. Now, because of that, I've loaded it into a bowl. The bowl that I have, and the only bowl that I have in the den that I use, is the Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grail. As you can see, the soap's in there. It smells very, very nice. The brush of choice, first time ever bowl lathering it, is once again my rhodium knot set into my that darn rod brush handle. Just a simply stunning brush. Nicest brush in my day now, I absolutely love this thing. And look at the tips on that. Check that out. Absolutely stunning. Right, here we go, straight into the bowl. I'm going to need some more water. I don't know whether I'm going to whip up the lather in here or just sort of load the brush. I'm not quite sure. This is obviously for the head shave, so I'm just going to dip the tips, add a bit of water. I might just bowl lather it. I've never bowl lathered with this brush. If it will bowl lather, it's not really doing much yet. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this to explode and nothing's happening. As you can see. I have just dipped the tips. Oh, that scent's lovely. Definitely not what I expected from After the Rain. In fact, from reviews that I've, I've read and seen on YouTube, I was expecting this to be quite a... sort of similar to Barrister Man Diamond sort of thing, but or Petrico. Nothing like it. It's, it's really bright. It's really sweet. Very citrusy. Definitely making a ladder, but it's taken a long time. This may not be the way to do it. What I might do is just scoop everything out, like so. Let me just add some water. I've heard this is a quite a thirsty soap. You've got to be careful you don't add too much or too little. I'm just going to continue with the bowl ladder. It's going to take me a while. Hopefully I can get enough out of the bowl ladder to do my head and my face. It was quite a fair chunk of soap in this bowl. I was expecting this to be exploding already. But it's a new soap. I am using this brush in the bowl for the first time. Maybe it's not a great bowl lathering brush. I thought it's starting to whip up now. I've also just noticed just prior to coming on this video, I've just reached 4,000 subscribers. I'm blown away by that. And I will likely do a little giveaway financially. It's not the best time for me right now, so I might leave it a little bit. I've been struggling. So I so, spent my Christmas money already. And of course, generally, I'm just going to dip the tips again and again. When I get a winner on my channel, it's overseas, which isn't a bad thing, but that's just generally what it is. 
unfortunately cost a bloody fortune these days to send a package overseas. Oh, this is really whipping up. I might just cut. I tell you what, I'm going to cut and I'll come back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> now, I've spent probably an extra two minutes off camera. It's a long time lathering, I can tell you right now. Way more than what I would normally face lather, I think. But I'm finally at a point where hopefully you can see that shine on there. But that's like pure whipped meringue. So I'm going to wet my head again. And then here we go. I'm probably going to end up doing another lather on my head. I don't think there's quite enough water in this lather yet, believe it or not. And I've had it a lot. It's a really, really nice scent. Like I say, it's not what I visioned in my mind, what this would smell like. Right, I'm just going to go with that. Now the razor of choice for today, for the head shave, is the leaf razor. Now, I've been using this off camera a few times, and the more I use it, the better it becomes, and the more comfortable it comes, and it gives amazing shaves. Excuse me, like you say, I can choose the blades I want to put in here. I've got a triple vintage blade set up in here, I've got a Gillette Super Stainless Australian, I've got a Perma Sharp, and uh, yes, I can't remember the other one. But all vintage blades, very very smooth shavers, and they do last quite a while. I think the last one I got about 15 shaves out of the whole set, and I'm just I've got two days growth. I'm just going to go straight against the grain. This is the second use on these blades, this set of blades, and that is like a hot knife through butter. If you buy the leaf razor for head shaves, you have to really give it some time. You have to learn to get get a feel for the razor. It's not a it's not as easy as just picking up a cartridge and shaving. You've got to sort of find the weight, find the angle. Well, not so much the angle, the, the razor does the angle for you. You've got to just find what works best for you. Now I've got two days growth here. And because I'm using DE blades, and because of the way this is built, I can just go straight against the grain, which generally means that my shaves are a lot faster. Even with a cartridge razor, I can encounter some sort of uncomfortable feeling going straight against the grain. It just doesn't seem to work with this razor, with these blades. It is so smooth. And when used with a nice slick silk, which this appears to be, the milk steak formula from Declaration Grooming, the results are brilliant.
that is practically BBS. I'm just going to dip my calve in the water. Just to touch around my ears there, get a bit closer there, and then around the back of the ear. Same again this side. Have a bit of a feel, just touch it up with that. Very, very slick silk. Now I know this would be slicker if I'd done a head lather rather than the bowl. For some reason when I do a bowl lather I lose a little bit from the silk, but this is still extremely slick. Well, you can't see much more than that. That's a very, very quick head shave. So I think rather than doing a, I don't know what I will, but I'll do a separate video for the face shave. Why not? Thing I'm finding with the with the leaf razor in particular is that I'm not really getting any irritation from it. I'm certainly not getting any ingrown hairs, but the irritation is really reduced even compared to a cartridge razor if I use one every day. Whew, plenty of post shave feel, that's for sure. But yeah, leaf razor, absolutely superb. Now, bit of an update on this. They did bring out a twig razor with it. Now the twig razor was to basically give you that, but on a single edge using a snap DE blade form just for getting around your nose and behind your ears and things like that. Now they are releasing two more, they'll be coming out very soon, I think they're in the final stages of production and testing. There will be a Zamac coated one, which is chrome, co excuse me, chrome coated Zamac, I think he said it was, it's zinc metal or something. And he's also bringing out a stainless one, which will be a lot heavier. So you're gonna have the option of stainless or a zinc coated heavy and light. Both same ergonomics, same size, same style. Now, I don't know how it's going to work in terms of aggressiveness and how well it's going to shave, but I can tell you now it looks pretty cool. I can't tell you what it looks like, can't show you anything about it, but it looks good. I'm interested to see how it shaves, and I'll hopefully get my hands on one as well whenever they release. I'll be able to grab one, hopefully. Now, what am I talking about now? Yes, declaration grooming. After the rain, milk steak formula. I'll talk more about it in the face shave, but for the head shave, it was very slick. It feels very protective and the post shave feels, it does actually feel outstanding. But we'll see how that feels once I actually get to my face shave, it's dried in a bit and see what that post shave feels like then. The razor, as I showed, was the leaf razor, which for me is becoming one of my favourites in the denim. I always say it'll never leave, but I can't see that ever leaving. I'm, I'm actually transitioning away completely from cartridges again, and away from plastic. That's where I'm sort of going, even though this big handle here is all sort of plastic. Beautiful. Not a declaration grooming knot, it is a rhodium knot from Serge and Danicic over in the Australian Capital Territory. Beautifully made knot, very soft, very dense, works beautifully. I can't really say much more about his knots, they're absolutely superb. You can reach out to him on Instagram. And yeah, beautiful. Is that me done? That's me done. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.